Hey y'all, this is Tony from Western Carolina. I hope y'all are having a great Memorial Day. Just wanted to take one minute, have a little moment of silence for our American brothers and sisters that never made it back. We got some great food for y'all today. We're gonna be smoking up a tri-tip, we're gonna be smoking up some ribs, and we're gonna be smoking up some leg quarters. So we're gonna start off with these spare ribs today. Now we've done video about ribs before. I can't make them enough. I love ribs. So what we've got here, we've got some St. Louis style spare ribs. We're gonna season them up just like we did in the last video. We got our mustard here, and we got our homemade seasoning here. So what we're gonna start off with, we need to prep these ribs. So we're gonna flip it over to the back side here. And there's a membrane that runs along these, these bones here. Take your paper towel, take your washcloth. And you're gonna wanna peel that membrane off. Some ribs, a little thicker membrane than others. got our membrane off here. Don't really have to do too much trimming on these ribs. They're pretty square. So we're gonna go right to seasoning. We got our mustard here. Just need a little bit. Just enough to hold that rub on your meat. Now, we see. You want to be pretty generous with this seasoning here. I like a nice thick coat. You're going to patch your seasoning in. You don't really want to rub it. You want that nice, even coat. Bones. We're going to go just a little more on top. Ready to go to snooker. And like I said last time, you want to bunch them ribs up. It's how they lay, it's how they're gonna cook. And you want a pretty, pretty rack of ribs, bunch them up, they look all nice and puffy. Alright. I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. Then we're gonna season the chicken. Chicken's not actually gonna go on for about another two hours. You wanna let them ribs cook. Right when you wrap the ribs, you're gonna throw your chicken. Throw that tri-tip on. This first time we've ever done a tri-tip, so hopefully this turns out good. Now we're going to season season it pretty generously. Get that all on it. And what I've got here, I've got some salt, pepper, and some black garlic. We're trying black garlic for the first time today. And it's supposed to be a fermented. Fermented garlic. So hopefully it gives this a nice, nice flavor here. Now you want to coat all sides of this. Let's try tip. 
just don't mind the barrel over there. <laughs> Season that pretty good. All right, so we're back. We're gonna uh, season up these leg quarters. Now they're not actually gonna go on the smoker for about two hours. But we'll season them. We'll put them back in the refrigerator for when uh, when the smoker's ready for them. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna rub these things down with just a little bit of olive oil. Once again, I got my Misto sprayer, not Misto olive oil. I'm gonna spray this chicken down. Now, this little Misto thing is pretty cool. You fill it up with olive oil, pump it up a little bit, and you got your aerosol sprayer. Now this olive oil is going to get this skin nice and crispy. I don't know how y'all are about chicken skin, but I love a nice crispy chicken skin. We rub that down. And we're going to use our same homemade barbecue rub because we are doing these in a barbecue sauce today. And my rub goes good on anything. Once again, just pat that seasoning in. Flip it over, do the same thing here. All right, we've got these things seasoned up pretty good. So now we're just gonna go put them in the refrigerator and uh, wait on those ribs. So you can't have a barbecue. To me, you can crank up a grill without putting some corn on the cob on it. And what we've got here, we've got some corn still in the shuck. Show y'all how, uh, how we like to do it. Now I got this right here from, from Aldi's. They already had your shuck cut and stalk off of there. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna pull these hairs off here, kind of pull this shuck down a little bit. You ain't gotta get them all off. Get the majority of them off. And we're gonna take, and we're gonna rub this down with a little bit of butter. Now I've got some uh, Amish butter roll here. If any of y'all been wondering what that big block of butter was. We'll just rub it down with some butter. Important thing is to leave that stock or that shuck on there. That shuck's gonna get that corn a bunch of moisture while it's cooking and what we do we take some seasoned salt Shake this corn down here. I don't know if any of y'all's ever tried this, but 
is some of the best corn on the cob you will ever have. That shuck pulled down real good. So once you get that sucker seasoned up, you'll wrap it back up in that shuck. Take your piece of aluminum pull. Just using some regular Reynolds wrap. Just gonna wrap that sucker up just like that right there. So I'm not gonna bore y'all watching me do all of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and season these, get them on the grill, and we'll be right back with y'all. These ribs have been on for about an hour. I like to baste them after the first hour. And then second hour, you're gonna wrap them. So Zoe here, she's gonna help me baste this. And what I've got here, I've got some Worcestershire salt, a little bit of water, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder. You wanna make sure you coat them ribs real good. That way they don't dry out on you. So we're gonna let this smoke for another hour. We'll be right back with y'all. do with your potato is you're going to wash it and then you're going to make thin slices in it you're going to cut down almost all the way through and then we're going to rub it with some olive oil so just drizzle a little oil on there shove that in make sure you coat the potato really well skin doesn't dry out on you and all these tasty seasonings stick to it. So first we're going to start off with some pink Himalayan salt. Any salt is fine. I just like this kind. I'm going to sprinkle it around on there. We're going to use some black garlic powder. Again, you can use any garlic powder. We're trying this one out today. Let's see how it is. Do some onion powder. A little bit of black pepper. Oregano. And a little bit of paprika just to give it some color. Make it look pretty. Rub that in pretty good. Alright. And then here we've got some vintage Irish cheddar cheese. And we're going to stuff it in every other little slice that we've made. Start down here. Just pop your cheese in there. And when this cooks up, cheese is going to get melty. It's going to be delicious. Try and slice your cheese as thin as you can. I might have gotten a few of my slices a bit too thick. Just continue to stuff it in there as best you can. <laughs> Almost done. Oh, that's gonna be good. Let's see if we got a thinner piece. Alright. Now, 
now we're going to get our aluminum foil. I'm going to wrap this guy up. And it's ready to go on the grill. All right, so we're going to finish doing the rest of these and we'll get back with you guys in just a minute. The grill's been on for two hours now. So what we're gonna do, like last time, we're gonna take them off, we're gonna wrap them. This time we're gonna wrap them without any sauce. We are wrapping them in some peach butcher paper. Ooh, look at that mm. nice barfest thing going on. Turn that sucker over. We're going to throw our tri-tip on here. As you can see, these diamond grills, they can handle some food. Okay, so we're going to let this cook for a couple more hours. I'll be right back with you. I'll be right back. All right, so our chicken and our tri-tip's been on here about an hour. What I want to do is want to Place that chicken just a little bit. Got about another hour on it. We'll be right back with you. Right back with you. All right, our tri tip is sitting perfect at medium rare. Just gonna take it. Now you just wanna sear it. Sear it on both sides. Probably do about five minutes each side. Our chicken's been smoking now for about two hours. Now we found this pale ale jalapeno barbecue sauce at Food Lion the other day. And we absolutely loved it. So what we're gonna do, we are gonna sauce this chicken here.
Alright, we'll let them hang out on the grill for a minute. But our ribs are done. Pull them over here to the cutting board. Now, we're going to sauce these and we're going to put them back on the grill. And we've got some of our homemade barbecue sauce here. Thank you, Kim. that caramelize down a little bit. Just like our tri-tip. It's ready to come off. Ooh. Now we're going to let that tri-tip rest for probably 30 minutes before we cut into it. Man, does it ever look good. I moved our chicken over here to the searing grill. Good flame to them. We're going to check out and see how we did on this tri-tip here. It's the first time ever cooking one. It sure does look good. Like we got it about medium. Mm. I try a little. It's mm. good stuff, y'all. Oh, look at that right 
there. Mm. Now that is a fine rib. Mm. Well, y'all, looks like everything is done. We're ready to. Okay, so everything is done. We've got our ribs, we've got our tri-tip, we've got our barbecue chicken, corn and potatoes. Everything is looking good, everything cooked up well. Might have got the tri-tip just a little more done than I like, but it's going to be good. Well, I hope y'all really enjoyed our video. We will see y'all next time.